name is Amy and I work here at Connections as a Communicative Disorders Assistant for the Talk To Me program. And in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about how to get your child noisy and playing with sounds. As babies develop, typically they become more and more vocal and start to use a variety of sounds, volumes, and pitches. Now here at Connections, we sometimes see children that have very limited sounds and are a little bit reluctant to try new sounds when they're communicating. And when talking with those families, we often see that they'll report that as babies and young toddlers, they were actually very quiet. Um, now, that can sometimes sound like a really good thing, but actually when children develop, we really like to see, especially babies, we like to see them to be very, very vocal, um, using lots of vocalizations and being very noisy. For those children that are a little bit on the quiet side, before we can work on complex words, typically we start working on sounds and our goal usually is to get them noisy. Now, when children start working on sounds and the more that they practice talking, the more they'll start to realize that there's power in their voice. So basically they'll kind of realize, well, if I make a sound or if I say something, somebody might react. Now I'm going to go through a few things that you might have at home and how you can use these items to hopefully get your child to play with some more sounds. Now my favorite one is actually just a paper towel roll and the best way to do this is actually have two so save them up and one will be for your child and one will be for you and all you do is really just play with sounds. Children really like the sound it makes and it kind of changes how their voice sounds. And the great thing about this, you can really practice um, elongating sounds or do fun little short sounds, like you can go doo -doo -doo. And if your child makes a sound, you can do copy back and get a nice back and forth going, or just bah, bah, bah. And it just sounds really fun and they do really like this activity, so that's a good one. The other thing really is just taking the toys that you already have at home and just trying to add some sound effects during play. Animal sounds are a really great thing to do. Um, you can do roar big sounds like that. Um, growling is usually an easier thing for ch children to imitate or something like that. Um, or if you have any food items, making some sound effects like or just anything like that would be really great. Um, and also just transportation items and just environmental sounds in general. If you hear a car go by really fast, you can imitate vroom or vroom if that's a little bit easier for your child. Um, you can do that with toy cars, choo-choo, airplanes. I usually make a sound and sometimes they'll imitate that fun sound. Um, so just taking what you have at home and just trying to add a little bit of fun. And other things that you can use like the paper towel roll that aren't necessarily toys um, are things like, I actually use a big bowl at home. Um, I don't have a little drum at my house, so I would use a big Tupperware, a big bowl, and you can actually take turns kind of just making noises on the drums. And then if your child is really liking that, you just add some sounds to it. You go boom, 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 bop, 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 something like that. Um, so that could be something great that you'd already have at home. Another great way to practice sounds is actually just making silly sounds with your mouth. So I know when my children were babies, and especially when they were up on the change pad, I would actually just put my hand gently on their mouth when they were kind of vocalizing and make that sound like, ah, and you'd actually see their eyes kind of light up and they'd actually grab my hand and stick it back on their mouth and get a nice back and forth because they really liked that it made a different sound. Um, you can do that. I really like anything like popping your lips is really fun. You can pretend to be a fish. Or um, if you're playing with bubbles outside, you can still model that language. Oh, let's blow some bubbles. And then when you're popping them, you can go and pop them that way. Um, another great way just visually is to actually bring your child up on the bathroom counter, get in front of the mirror and um, play a nice funny copycat game. Stick your tongue out, um, la la la, like those kind of funny sounds. Bop, 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 and see if you can actually go back and forth and kind of make some silly sounds and make each other laugh. And it's also just important to remember just to add sounds in to routines or other fun games that you might already play at home. Um, if you play peekaboo or something like that, you do peek -a boo you can say something like, ah! Kids really like to pretend to try to scream. Um, or you can, when you're doing chase or tickle, you can do, I'm gonna get you, ah! and see if you can get your child to turn their voice on like that. 
Um, row, row, row your boat can be really fun. Um, you can actually add a verse at the end and, and say, if you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream, ah! And they think that's really funny. Um, so just take what you already have at home and what you already do with your child and just try to tweak it to add some just little sound effect or something that your child might try to imitate. Now I often get families that say, if I do all this, won't my child not actually learn to say real words? And what I do tell them is that while every parent wants their child to say words, grandma really, really wants to hear um, their grandchildren say grandma. Uh, it's really important to just take pressure off and just sometimes just focusing on sounds will actually really just get that ball rolling and give your child the confidence that they can try new sounds and, and the more likely they are to try sounds, the more likely they are to try actual words. If you ever have questions about your child's speech and language, feel free to call us or visit us online at connectwithus.ca and you can complete an online referral. Thank you for watching and thanks for connecting with us.